Hi, welcome to the channel. It's been a while since uh, my last video uh, because I was moving it, it took long and also I was thinking and rethinking the channel because if you might notice by the name, it was meant for videos in Spanish. I'm a US citizen, but my maternal language is Spanish because I was raised in Latin America, but it seems to me that there is way more interested people in English videos. So we are, I'm going to give it a try by a series of very short videos. I'm going to do, do it in both languages and see how it goes. And the first one is going to be this, this little piece of equipment, which is an SWR and power meter for a CV radio. It's a must to have it because you have to check on your antenna and your cable and everything so you don't damage uh, your CV radio. And I'm gonna test it over here on my base setup I, that I have in my apartment. I installed this in, in the balcony, uh, especially during bad weather and special conditions, just to monitor the, the, the situation. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm not gonna do an unboxing, but I'm gonna do uh, how to use it. It is very important that if you are looking this is because you want to order it uh, that you order this little piece of cable which is an adapter male to male on PL259 so you can connect the meter to your radio. If you don't order this at the same time you are gonna have to wait as I did and so remember to order this I'm gonna leave the link on the description description for the cable is very cheap it's $7.99 for the cable and the meter is also very cheap because it's, it's very basic it's analog but it's all you need don't spend much more money on sophisticated meters because there's no need. Once you tune your antenna, you are gonna put this in a closet waiting for who knows how long. And this analog meter is only $21.99. So go for it. It's a good piece of equipment and very cheap and you need it. Let's see how it works, okay? Okay, first I'm gonna show you how I have uh, set up my CV station over here. And it's going to be awesome because I'm having a problem with, uh, with the SWR reading on channel one. And I'm gonna explain uh, soon about it. So first, let me show you how is the setup over here so you can understand what is going on. Let me turn the camera around and we'll see. Okay, here you can see I have a President McKinley mobile set up as a base and it is a it's an awesome radio and it works very good for it. To give it power on the 12 volts, I have a BTEC 30 amp power supply, a 12 volt power supply. I have my make over there. And over there I have the, the Midland 75822, which is a two by one CV radio. I can use it as a walkie talkie as you are seeing right now or I can use it as a mobile with the adapter and a bigger antenna. I have the bigger antenna and the adapter in my pickup truck and I, in another video I'm going to show you all my setups. So try to subscribe to, to the channel so you can see all the setups I'm going to show you 
on CV and also on GMRS radios. Okay, and here's the thing. This radio is coupled to a K30 magnet antenna, which is meant to use in a car, but they work fine, especially on GMRS uh, radios. They work very fine, but I'm having a very high reading on channel one. It's above, above three, which is not good at all. And I believe it's because of the lack of ground plane. I have a solution. I already, I'm expecting a part to work on that. And I'm going to make a video also on the solution. So, again, try to subscribe. So, the antenna goes that I'm an, on a third story balcony, 27 feet above. So, the range is very good. The cable goes over there all the way to the radio. The problem is with the transmission. SWR is for transmission. The receiving is fine. I already uh, did a test around town to check on the receiving because that's uh, the practical use I want to give to my radio. And, and, I, and I hit it with the Midland as a base uh, from four miles away around town, which is very good. And now I'm going to show you how to use the meter. Okay, let's see. First, I'm going to put away this mic. You are going to take the meter on the back has these two connections. One side of the cable go the, on, on the connection that will go to the transmitter, the CV radio. You hook up the cable like this and you take your, your radio, unhook the antenna. It is very important to do this with the radio off. Do not turn on the radio while you are doing this. And you are going to take the antenna cable and hook it on the antenna connection over here on the meter. Okay. Now we have the connection that goes to the transmitter, as it says on the meter. So, we are going to hook it over here. In the same connection as the antenna in the transmitter. Okay, now everything is connected, so I'm going to power the radio. And we are going to test the radio. You do this on channel 1, on the lower part of the band, and on channel 40, the upper part. Once you are okay with those, uh, you can test on channel 20 to see how is the range on the middle, but it's not as critical. So, you do it first on channel 1. To do it, you put this on the, on the upper side, on the left. You choose over here SW meter, because it meters both. SWR and power, we are doing SWR. To calibrate this, you need to calibrate it. You go up on this left button, and you, I'm gonna have to do something over here to show you, because I need to key up the radio. 
let me see so you can see okay I'm gonna key up and you can see with this you are gonna play with this and put it right on that set mark over there you let go the mic you push down this button and press the mic to transmit and now you have the rhythm as you can see i'm having a very high swr reading on channel one which is around three point i'll say three point three which is very high okay you write it down somewhere and then you go to channel 40 on the radio you go up on this setting on the left button and you calibrate again the needle you have to go again to the set position you let go bottom to the bottom to the down position and you hit the mic again as you can see on channel 40 i'm 1.6 which is very good on swr what is that telling me okay normally when you have a high reading on channel one a higher than channel 40 you have to adjust your antenna those antennas they have adjustments and you have to go a little up with your antenna and do the reading again and do it again and again until you take down channel one if the rhythm is higher on channel 40 is the, all the way around is you have to go pieces by pieces going down with the antenna what is the problem i am having that the whip of my antenna is already fully extended and i can't go higher with that antenna but the reading is also telling me one thing when you have such a high swr reading you for sure are having a ground plane problem it's not enough for the antenna to bounce back the electricity so i think i found a very cheap solution but I, I'm waiting for the part and it's going to take a couple days, maybe three days, so I'm going to have to wait, so I'm going to leave the radio like that, I'm not going to transmit because you might damage the, the radio by transmitting, and as soon as I have the piece I order, I'm going to do the testing again. When I find, find the solution, I will do a video and let you know, guys, about it. But that, 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 that is it. It's very, very, very easy to do it. Another thing that the meter does is it measures the power on the transmission. These CVs, as almost all CVs, are 4 watts unless you tune up the CVs and there's guys that goes way, way, way higher than that, which is illegal, but nobody cares about it. I don't want to do that. I'm, uh, for my practical reasons, I'm happy with the performance of a uh, stock radio, but I'm gonna measure the power to show you guys. So. Over here, for power, you have 10 watts or 100 watts because they're those guys that go higher. You put it on the 10 watt, which is up to 10 watts, and you put it on power. You are gonna measure power on any channel, okay? I'm gonna turn on the radio. 
and I'm gonna measure the power it's giving me 3.8 watts which is not the full 4 watts I want but it's good enough to have good transmissions and that's how you use this very simple piece of equipment go for it is a must to have it because you need to look for the SWR especially for the performance on your transmissions and for the safety of your radio because other with a very very high about about three if you transmit for very long periods of time it's almost sure that you are going to damage the radio so don't do it get the thing and subscribe to the channel uh, i'm going to show you as soon as i get the part as i told you the when i find the solution i'm going to show you again the test also i'm going to prepare a, a like two three videos because i want to show you very simple setups i have for my cv at my home my cv and my picker truck and what i use at work because i'm a truck driver and nowadays i just use it for road conditions and stuff uh, but for practical reasons, I'm going to show you uh, how to use it just for practical reasons. And I'm also going to prepare some on my GM RS radios, which is uh, another chapter completely. Thank you, and please subscribe and come back and, and see how it goes.